welcome to Faith and Flower. If you're new, my name is Robin, and today I am doing some decluttering and cleaning in our master bathroom. And if you've been watching my channel lately, you'll know that I've been inspired by the book, The Minimalist Home by Joshua Becker. And I'm using his method to go room by room in our home, decluttering all of the unnecessary things that our family has accumulated. And we've put a stop on buying things to add clutter to our home as well. And we're doing all of this so that we can focus on the important things in life. And I know that it's not always the most exciting thing to pick an area like your bathroom in your home to start decluttering. So I'm here to give you guys some motivation when you watch what I'm doing. And if you need a little extra motivation, two of my best friends here on YouTube, Noemi and Shannon, are cleaning their bathrooms and doing some decluttering as well. So I'm going to link their videos in the cards above and also in the description box below so that you guys can check out their videos after you watch mine. So let's get started. The biggest problem with this area under our sink is that I've just filled it with too many things. And I've been guilty of buying things in multiples like hairspray, shampoos and conditioners, face washes, you name it, anything that we use in the bathroom. And I'm going to stop doing that and make sure that we are just about to finish something before I replace it. And that will keep this area streamlined and much easier to organize. I like to keep my travel toiletry bag here in this cabinet and I keep all of the favorite products that I have that are TSA approved sizes in there and so they're ready to go whenever we head out on a trip. And then I'm using these bins to corral everything and keep things easy to access. Plus having these bins underneath the pipe has saved us in the past. We had a slow leak and because the bin was there and was capturing the water, we didn't have any damage to the bottom of the cabinet. I like how the bins keep things corralled and because you can slide them out, you can find what you're looking for. And I also like to store my essential oil diffuser under here because this is where I use it most often. Before I return these three bins to this under cabinet area, I'm going to reorganize them a little bit. I've had a system for quite a while that works great, but I haven't been keeping up with it and so I need to go back in and reorganize it a little bit to make it work for us a little better. And I use it mostly for our cold medicines and all of the first aid items that I like to keep on hand. I find that we have a lot of cold products um, left over after we're treating somebody with a cold and it's nice to have them on hand when somebody comes down with something in the middle of the night you're prepared but I need to take some things out of boxes and make it a little bit less bulky and so that we can see what we have and if there are any expired items I can go through find those and discard them too in this plastic bin I have a lot of Ziploc bags and what I like to do is basically use them as a file system and I'll show you how that works a little bit later. But right now I'm putting in little cold packets into one of the baggies that's labeled cold medicine and that way I have everything in one place, I can see when we're running out and when someone needs something it's very easy to find. I really like this system for organizing our first aid kit and so I need to get back in the habit of replenishing these things this way and that way everything is in one place and when we need something we can easily find it. After grouping things together in a way that works better for the items that we have, I'm going to relabel some of these to make it a little bit more clear to everybody in the family just what's in these bins. So now this is the one place in our whole house where all of our cold medicine and all of our first aid items are stored. 
I learned this system from a friend who teaches organizing years ago and I love it. It's perfect for our first aid box and so anything like band-aids, gauze, ointments will have a label and when anyone in the family needs one of those things they can quickly flip through the files, find what they need and everything stays organized. When everything is removed from its original packaging and put in one of these Ziploc bags, it's very easy to see when you need to replenish it. It's so satisfying to have an organized space that really functions because now we can see what we need and find what we're looking for. In my vanity drawers, I'm just gonna go through, declutter anything that I'm not using anymore, and then I'm going to group like things together so that everything is consolidated and we can find things that are related in the same area. I love to use different styling tools for my hair and although it looks like a lot I do use these on a regular basis but I don't need the product manuals that they came with because I can find those online. I want to minimize the things that I'm keeping on the counter so I'm making room in this drawer for them. In his book Joshua Becker discusses the convenience fallacy and I know that I have fallen victim to this and what that means is that we often leave things out in the open because we think that we're saving time when we need them and that we're simplifying our lives but actually the opposite happens. Most of the time they are sitting out and not being used where they create visual distraction, they get in the way and they add to the disorganization of our spaces and even attract more clutter. The other clutter that I'm removing from our bathroom are extra towels. We really only need two per person and my husband and I are the only one using this bathroom. The second set I'm keeping in these baskets in our bathroom on the shelf and the ones that I'm removing are going to replace the ratty ones that I keep in our laundry room that we use for things like washing the dog and for cleaning projects around the house. Now that my decluttering and organizing is finished, I can start cleaning and I'm going to be using the anti-back toilet cleaner from Method on the inside of the toilet and my favorite product for the outside of the toilet is the 7th generation disinfecting wipes. I'm not usually a really big fan of disposable products that we use in our home, but I do like these toilet cleaners and I make exception for them because I can quickly clean the toilet, just throw them away, and I don't have to worry about using a cloth that might cross-contaminate another surface. I am very careful, however, to use all natural products in our home so that I expose our family to as few chemicals as possible. And I buy almost all of my cleaning products from the Grove Collaborative. And if you guys would like to check them out, you're welcome to use my referral link in the description box below. And if you're a new customer, you can receive a five piece free gift set for giving them a try. Tub, I like to use the Grove Collaborative Tub and Tile Concentrate and I like to spray it on and then let it sit for a little bit. While that's getting to work on our tub, I'm going to get to work clearing off our chair which we seem to always use as a clothes rack. I think this product does a great job of breaking up any buildup that occurs on our tub and then I just use a magic eraser to scrub it without scratching. extra frugal I always cut my magic erasers in half and I actually like the feel of the smaller sponge in my hand and I get twice the use out of them. 
The best way to clean the fixtures I find is to use my Norwex microfiber cloth. To clean my husband's vanity, I start by clearing everything off and then I just use a damp Norwex cloth to clean the mirrors. I love to follow the microfiber cloth with the window cloth to give the mirrors a streak-free shine. For the sink and the vanity, I like using the Grove Collaborative All-Purpose Cleaning Concentrate because it is safe for our granite countertops. I also love that it's scented with rosemary and orange essential oils so it smells amazing. Just like the mirrors, after I clean the fixtures with the Norwex microfiber cloth, I follow with the window cloth to give them a streak-free shine. Then I wipe everything clean before I put it back on the countertop. Then I just repeat everything over on my vanity. And with the tray and all of its contents decluttered, I have a lot less things to move. I clean my small mirror just like I do the large ones using the Norwex microfiber cloth and following it with a window cloth. To get ready for vacuuming and then mopping, I like to remove everything that I can from the floor. I'm not cleaning our shower today because my husband and I always wipe down all of the surfaces with a damp microfiber cloth from Norwex and this really saves me a lot of time cleaning and scrubbing our shower and I don't have to buy a lot of extra products for that either. Our puppy Austin always shows up whenever I get out the vacuum or the mop. He thinks that it's playtime. To mop the floors, I'm just using a damp microfiber pad from eCloth. I've also been using the floor cleaning concentrate from Grove Collaborative and I love it. I think it does a really great job on the floors. It gets them very clean and they never feel sticky or tacky afterwards. Once the floors are dry, I can return everything back to their proper places and our bathroom is open for business again. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you are coming over from Shannon or Noemi's channel, I just want to say welcome. And if you like today's video, I hope that you will consider subscribing and if you do, make sure you activate the bell icon so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video and you won't miss out on anything. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next one.